Hey guys, it's Hank here and I'm going to show you how to keep your Windows 8 operating system running fast and smooth. And these are some tips and softwares that you can use to ensure that your computer runs fast, okay? So um, the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you keep your desktop nice and clean, your icons. Like you could see here that I only have, I only have like programs here. There is one document here, I'm going to delete that, or I'm going to actually you can there's one document, PowerPoint document here that I should be having in my documents folder. I don't know why I have it on my desktop, but organizing the icons on your desktop. This is just a, this tip's not really going to help performance wise. But I mean, it's nice to have a nice organized desktop. All right. So another thing you can do for Windows 8 is what you want to do is you want to make sure you keep your computer really clean. Now, there's numerous ways that the Windows operating system can uh, slow down. Temporary files can accumulate, and you need other softwares to get this out, like uh, help clean the computer out on a regular basis. And uh, a fantastic program to use right is called uh, CCleaner. It's right here on my desktop, and it's a freeware program. You can also buy the full version of it. And this program will clean out your all your temporary internet files your cookies and your uh, and, it, and it will clean out system uh, temporary files as well for your like for your uh, operating system and it also does the temporary files for Google Chrome Internet Explorer and it also clears out your clears out um, other things like your DNS catch font catch Windows log files and all these kind of things that keep the computer that's slow and like uh, over time these temp files will build up and accumulate on your computer and it will slow it down. So CCleaner is a free program. Download them, run a scan and it will completely clear all this junk files out of your computer. And it's going to run a quick scan here. Now you should run the, this type of scan on your computer weekly, or the more frequently you run CCleaner, the better your, the result is for your computer, the cleaner your system's gonna be. And uh, unfortunately, Windows keeps temp files on your computer. You just have to use the computer and it will you'll get temp files. So you, there, that's why if you use CCleaner and you keep on them, the computer's gonna overall run better. You also got a registry cleaner with this CCleaner program can scan for issues. Now registry issues are going to be always in the, always there. You may not have any p p problems like as far as warnings and pop-ups on your computer, but if you have a lot of registry issues, it can sometimes slow the computer down and registry cleaners will basically uh, clean them and fix these issues for you. Now these are always normally just minor registry issues. There are no there's no big issues, but it's nice to get on these uh, registry issues and just run this little utility and click fix selected issues and that will fix them all for you. All right. So taking a closer look at CCleaner, you got more options here. You can uninstall programs that are on the computer that may be uh, that may be taking up space on your hard drive. And now you should only have programs on here that you want. If you don't, if you have programs on here that you don't want, you can uninstall them with this little program. You can also go into computer's control panel and do that as well yourself. But I mean, for users that have this, you can use this as well to uninstall a program. And we can click here, we got the startup thing. This is all the programs that run when Windows starts. Now, if you want to make your computer start faster you can use this program and disable all the programs that start with windows and you can see here i only have really my my anti-malware applications and uh c cleaner running when windows starts now i programmed c cleaner to perform a clean when i boot my computer up automatically for me in the background so i don't have to come in here and do it myself but i mean as you can see i don't have skype or vmware or utorrent running when windows starts Basically, I've disabled all those, and uh, by doing so, you can really gain back computer's performance. Now, another way you can disable programs that run when Windows starts is hit your Windows logo key along with the letter R on your keyboard. You'll get your run box pop popped up, and what you can do is you can type MSC config. This will pull up the system configuration utility window. Just give it a second. And then here you can click startup. And, go, and in Windows 8 here, you can go into Open Task Manager. We'll let Task Manager open up. 
And then here you, you also have the list of programs that run when Windows starts and you can uh, click on these and you can either enable them or you can click on them and you can disable them by uh, right clicking you can enable them or disable the programs so uh, if I wanted to disable CCleaner I can make sure it's highlighted and then down here I can click disable and that will also get rid of the programs that start with Windows alright now there's another quick little tip you can do if you go back to the uh, MS config in the system configuration utility you go services and you can click disable all Microsoft wait sorry hide all Microsoft services there's a checkbox here and you can also disable the services that you don't use and that can help with computers performance okay but I'm not gonna do any of that now back to C cleaner here you can click on um, uh, options settings and in here you have the box run cleaner when Windows starts as I track that. I like to have the C cleaner run when Windows starts because then it cleans out the computer for me when I boot up the computer. And you also have all these other um, other options that you can do. If you go down to the advanced settings in here you can uh, you can minimize it to system tray if you want so this doesn't pop up on your screen when you boot the computer up so basically it can run the scan down below minimize to the system tray which is very helpful when you're uh, programmed it to run when Windows starts and uh, by using the settings you can set that up to run when Windows starts and it will perform a clean for you so CCleaner is a must-have program to get rid of temp files another way you could check for temp files on a Windows 8 computer is you can open up your uh, open up the uh, the explorer here go to your hard drive go to um, your users folder check your username and in here you wanna go up to the very top on Windows 8 and go to view and make sure you have hidden items checked okay once you have hidden items checked and you click your username you should find an app that data folder in here I don't see why it's not in here but it should be in here oh I don't have hidden folders checked that's why yeah so you check hidden items right here app data you go into local you come down here and you'll find a temp folder in your uh, applications local area local directory and you can go ahead and delete the temp folder the temp folders like the, whatever's inside the temp folder delete it you don't really need it all right so that's another way to bef to uh, increase the performance on the computer so once you're done in there go back into view and on check hidden items again so another thing you could do is you can go back to your explorer go back to the hard drive right click on the hard drive go down into properties and in here you can click run cleanup desk cleanup and I recommend you run desk cleanup it's a built-in uh, cleaner that Windows has for every it works on Windows 8 it works to Windows 7 and it was on Windows XP as well and I recommend you run desk cleanup every week it will help your performance on your computer alright now I'm not gonna run it because it can take quite some time depending on how much you have on your computer but there's another thing you can do is you can right click on your hard drive go back into properties click tools and you can you and go into optimize and defrag and in here you can uh, you can go into change you can uh, def do a defragment of the hard drive and uh, by default it's set to do this weekly on your computer but you can click change settings and you can set this to daily instead of weekly and then that can help as well so instead Windows will automatically do a defrag in the background of your hard drive and that helps with the computer's performance too alright another thing you can do in Windows 8 and this is a quick little tip for Windows 8 uh, users is if you go into your services which can be very easy to get to you hover your mouse over to the side here you pull this up and do search you can search services dot msc services dot msc then you get your services window open a quick little tip to do here is turn off the search index there for windows it, this slows the computer performance down I've turned mine off. You come all the way down here, you'll come across Windows Search, 
and I've got it disabled you guys will have it on in it enabled but to disable it you can right click on it go into properties and it will be on automatic for you what you can do is you can go down into disable and then click apply and that will shut the windows search indexer off it's it just saves your computer a lot of performance because windows 8 tends to use a lot of resources with that service and you really don't need it running in the background all right another quick tip for windows and this works for windows xp as well and windows 8 is you can uh go into your performance like uh graphical performance if you can uh hit the windows logo key and the pause break key on your keyboard are but I don't have the pause break on my keyboard, honestly. So what you could do is you can click on computer, this computer, or if you have Windows 8, it's easy. You can right click on the right click on the start menu. You'll get this window open, and you go into system. And uh, it's very important to note that the amount of RAM stalled on the computer, the higher the number of RAM is, the faster the computer will be. The CPU processor is also good to look for. I got a processor here, 1.60 gigahertz, which is all right for everyday use and 2.30 gigahertz I, I it's an i-core processor but you want to pay attention to ram you want to have at least a gig or at least two gigs of ram on your computer that will really help with performance if you don't have if you have under two gigs of ram that could be a reason that the computer is slow so if you go into a uh, system protection right here or sorry advanced system settings and you go into this performance section here and you click settings by uh, you can adjust for best appearance or adjust for best performance. Now, adjusting for best performance will degrade the graphical quality of your computer. But you can go into customize, and what I've on track is animate the windows when minimizing and maximizing, and animate control elements and inside windows and animate the taskbar. By doing so, you don't have the fancy animations every time you open up a window, and that can actually uh help open and closing windows really fast on your computer much more simpler without having the animation i mean i i don't really find the animation really useful i turned it off it helps when you're opening up programs faster by a couple seconds at least but every second matters all right so now we're going to go on to to, to uh, anti-malware must have uh, a lot of computers these days will get infected, well, not really by viruses, but by crap and uh, stuff like uh, cookies. We talked about junk files earlier in the video, but it will also get like uh, hit by stuff like adware and stuff that slow the computer down. Or it may be um, that you've installed a program and it also had toolbars in there. And you can get a lot of toolbars in your browser. I don't happen to have any two bars. I'm going to pull up Google Chrome here. I have Google here as my uh, home page. It's very good to have Google as your home page. It's just faster when you're searching the web. So if you go into, if you have Google Chrome, and it's the same for Internet Explorer, it's just slightly different. For Google Chrome, you click up here, go into Settings, and make sure you put Google as your home page. Open Pacific homepage, set pages. Make sure you put Google in there faster to have Google up here in, in, under extensions you can disable and uninstall extensions to the browser that you don't want the, f the fewer extensions you have the faster the browsing of your internet performance is going to be it's going to be a much faster browse on the web so back to uh, what I was talking about computers and malware anti-malware is a must for computers you can have Norton's you can have AVG but you you still want to have an anti-malware application working otherwise what you can have is a bunch of uh, adware or sometimes potentially unwanted programs that get installed or bundled with programs that you've installed on the computer like when you download a program online a lot of times it can have bundled uh, potentially unwanted additional software on your computer like uh, like I was talking about like search boxes like ask to bar and a lot of stuff like that that slow the performance down of the computer at least so uh uh, there's numerous programs that you can get to uh, remove this and they're uh, the most effective ones I would like you guys to get because this will probably be the best is a couple of programs put these all on your computer and run these like frequently um, these are free the full version costs a bit of money but one of them is called malware bytes anti malware so on my desktop right here it's a fantastic program it will basically wipe out malware or viruses if you have them on your computer you click scan now and it performs as a scan the full version is like $20 it offers real-time protection 
It's to be used alongside antivirus software. And uh, Hitman Pro is another anti-malware program. It also is going to get rid of those cookies for you that just slow the computer down. And then it's also going to uh, get rid of toolbars and junkware that you don't want. Again, you can perform a scan with this program by clicking Next, and it will scan the computer. I don't really need to perform a scan. I don't have much adware on here. You can also download a program called Junkware Removal Tool right here. Off, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box for this program. It's another program. It's basically got the command prompt here, and it will check for an update. And uh, this will scan for adware and stuff like that. And you, what you have to do is you open this up and it says down here, press any key to continue. This will scan for junkware and remove it off your system. Another one is ADW Cleaner. Again, the link for this is in the description box. This is another uh, way of getting rid of adware and junkware that slow the computer down. Run a scan. Whatever it finds, you can click clean. The scan takes really fast with ADW Cleaner. It's a fantastic program. Everybody should put this on their computer. And you guys should be running these uh you should be running these um, um these programs frequently on your computer like every week or so to ensure the computer runs. The more you get on these program get on these uh scans, running these scans like uh ADW Cleaner, Junkware Removal Tool, Malware Bytes and stuff. The, the more you run these scans, the more frequently you do it, the better the overall performance of your computer is going to get. Because junkware, temp files, and all that kind of stuff doesn't have a chance to accumulate and stuff on your computer. So frequently running these programs are going to help the performance of the computer a big time. Alright, so I recommend you run all these every week. I mean, that's what I do. Every week I just have a little scan of this. And uh, that helps with performance. So another little software that you can use is TDSS Killer. It's basically a good way of scanning for rootkits. Rootkits are a type of malware on the computer that you don't want to have. I'm just going to run an update here. It's off Kaspersky's website. I'm just going to install it because I need to install the update. But uh, it offers basically a way of detecting rootkits. And it's another little utility that I'll have in the description box of the video. Alright, just open up TDSS, TDSS Killer. Click Accept. Accept again. And you can run this. Alright, so in here you can click Scan. Start a scan. This will scan for rootkits. And the scan's not going to take long because it's only going to scan your drivers for rootkits. If you find a rootkit, it will ask you to restart the computer. I don't have rootkits on here. I'll get on them if I do. And uh, I, just ex I just exited out of uh, TDS Killer. But there you go, guys. Those are great ways of uh, saving computer performance. Run those programs that I just showed you frequently. Links will be in the description box. It's very easy to run these programs. Get on them. Scan your computer with them. The more frequently you use these programs, the more faster the overall Windows performance will be on your computer. So uh, if you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.